we're in the Judiciary Hearing Committee, correct? Yes, sir. And this is the news. I'm an independent news dude. I ain't got no press pass. It's a fraternal order of police. And a lawyer. Senator Broshin. How you doing? Could I give you this? I can't come over there. He told me to stay here. It's a request for you, for something for you to do. I'm going to be testifying today. It's a request for a grand jury here. Yeah. Put the toilet there and everything? Yeah. yeah. It was about the grand jury. How much time did they give it? They tried to, I won the case. I was innocent of all charges. They took my truck, my computer, and all my property. Did you get it back? No, that's why I'm here to talk to y'all. Go, go stop in my office. Uh, I'm in 221. And uh, Mark will help you figure out the paperwork you might need to get your stuff back. You should be able to get your stuff back now. Okay? Thank you. His name is Mark. I'm in 221. Thank you. Good. How are you? If they give me that stuff back, they're going to be mad. Who are you trying to get back? All right. I'm a, a whistleblower and an independent filmmaker. I was doing a documentary about racism in the judicial system. I was naming judges, lawyers, and politicians. And you see what he said. I put the toilet in the Towson courthouse, and it represented racism in Jim Crow, public accommodations. I did it during Black History Month. It was a Black History moment. Mm -hmm. So they locked me up and charged me with terrorism. Really? I beat the case. I won all I wanted. I fired my lawyer and defended myself. And that's why they closed mouth and closed tongue. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give you the information. I'm going to give you some of the information. Hold on. Now, you got whistleblower protections in the, in the state of Maryland, correct? Mm -hmm. So what I did is I asked Governor Hogan... Mm -hmm. to protect my rights as a whistleblower. I'm a black Republican. The Democrats are the majority of this state and this party. They got mad because I'm a black Republican and I'm a caterer. I work in their houses. I didn't, I didn't sign a confidentiality report. I work for the Fraternal Order of Police. I can show you all this, you know what I'm saying? It's all online. If you look at the highlighted parts of this, mm -hmm. those are videos. You can pull those videos up right now as we speak. I can show you that Scott Schellenberger uses his powers of his office for pro political gain. He tried to charge me with the murder of Scott Greenberg. He charged me with five other felonies and other cases. And then he charged me with terrorism. And at the end of the day, if I won my case and I was found innocent on all my charges, why haven't I got my property back? Mm -hmm. If I was a terrorist, why didn't the state take my computer? And, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you use your personal office for personal and political yeah. gain. And you don't want to deal with it. So that's why I come to the judiciary. Because I was talking about our laws. The Constitution, they're supposed to work for us. We're not supposed to work for them. So take that. And what news organization are you with? Capitol News Service. Capitol Hill. They got this. They've been holding it for like four years. Mm -hmm. uh, Burns used to work for y'all. He had it. Now he's on his own. Mm -hmm. So I hope you do more with it than they, what they did with it. All right? <laughs> All right. Oh. Get all these police in here. Okay. Well, you seen Broshini said go down to his office and get my property back. Got my toilet with me too. <laughs> Mosby won't come out. <laughs> That's crazy. She won't come up in the in the because she know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ask her 21 questions. 
I'm gonna ask her why she denying citizens access to the grand jury. Okay, I just wanted to let you know. I'm gonna ask in front of everybody in the room. I'm gonna ask in front of the senators and the congressmen. I'm gonna ask in front of the media. Gave her three feet, bro. Gave her three feet. I'm not raising my voice, but she can hear what I got to say. That's all I need to do. And her husband running for all, is in office now, so he got to separate family business from personal business. My issue is the grand jury, and I want access to the grand jury. Your issue is the grand jury. You should know that you have to apply to the court. All right, and you are the court, and I apply to you. Yes, you are. Grand jury judge. Uh, and I did that. I did it. I did it. I did that. I went to Judge Holland. I did it to Judge Holland. And they said I got to go to the state's attorney. You didn't answer my letter then. Didn't answer their letter. No, you're not listening. You're trying to bullshit me. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yeah, didn't answer the letter. Then just answer the letter. That's all you got to do. Answer, answer, answer the letter. That's all you got to do. Answer the letter the way I wrote it to you. Answer it on that. You feel me? Then you don't have to get here and put on these petty shows and presentations. Because like I said, answer, answer the letter. Answer it. You too. Okay, please. All right, thank you. I ain't got a problem with it. Victims and witnesses. Criminal law abuses, all right? We here today. She needs to answer the letter the way I wrote it and, and respond to the issues that I put in that letter. She needs to do that. This grandstanding talking on film, dog, answer it like I gave it to you. Certified mail. Here you go, here you go. You know what I was here for. You know what I was here for. Come on, come on, come on. Like shooting ducks, dog.